JJ from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. And we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, the series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comments section of our videos. So we have a whole bunch of questions. Um, thank you so much for asking them. We have them all in our YouTube red bag as per usual. And let's get into the questions. Okay, so this question comes from DJR. Can you please make a video on which element pack should we have and can help? All right, so Filmstocks has a bunch of different effects that you can use. Um, it really just depends on the type of video that you're editing. There are effects for vloggers, for food channels, for news channels, and there are a whole bunch of fun effects that you can use to enhance your videos like cinematic openers. You can check out what is included in the effects pack by watching the videos on the Filmstock effects page. For example, if you want to create a sci-fi superhero style video, check out the Superhero Cinematic Pack. Okay, so this question comes from Jatine9. What about the donuts? You can't show it in editing as I see it in the intro. Okay, so I believe what Jatine9 wants is asking is how do we show the donut drop um, in our teleportation video? And first of all, it actually wasn't a donut, it was a bagel. And that infamous donut shot, a lot of people were asking how we did it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's done in Filmora 10. In the shot, we have the subject sneeze to trigger the teleportation and leave the frame. Keeping the same camera setup, we film the shot with someone throwing the bagel into the frame from off camera. We film several times to make sure the bagel lands in the perfect position to match the position where the subject disappears after they teleport. Now let's bring the clip into Filmora 10. Drag and drop the first clip onto the timeline. Cut where the subject sneezes. Then delete the rest of the clip. Drag the bagel clip to the timeline and cut where the bagel is in the air and starting to drop onto the floor. Then delete the first part of the clip. Go to the top left element window and find the yellow energy element from the fun section. Drag and drop it onto the second video track. Align the beginning of this effect to the start of the sneeze. Adjust the position of the yellow energy to match the subject sneezing. Now I'm going to add some space vibrations to the teleportation. Go to the top left effect panel and then find the shake section. Drag and drop up down one to the third video track. Adjust the length of the up down video effect. Make sure it starts a bit ahead of the yellow energy and ends a little bit later. Okay, the teleportation and bagel drop is done. Let's see how it looks. And that is how to do the infamous bagel drop. Hope that was helpful. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this question comes from Himanshu Patel6. Hey, how can we switch music backwards in Filmora? Okay, so if you're interested in reversing the audio in a video in Filmora, let me go ahead and show you how it's done. Right click the audio you want to reverse and click speed and duration. There will be a box that says reverse speed. Click that box and your audio will be reversed. Our next question is from Akshaya. Akshaya, hello. I wanted to ask this, but I'm asking you now. What transition do you use when you edit the YouTube videos of this channel? So timestamp 0.41. So I think what you're referring to is the intro sequence of our videos. So those transitions and our intro and outro sequence are actually made specifically for our channel. So the um, Wondershare Filmora graphics team created those specifically for us. So those are the transitions that we use. Okay, so next question. Okay, so this next question comes from Rubio. Thank you for your question. How do you remove all audio from a clip and replace it with music? All right, so remove audio from a video, you can do it in two ways. And let me show you how you can do it. You can mute the audio and then place your chosen music in the audio track. The second way is that you can right click on the audio and click detach audio. This will detach the audio from the video footage and you can delete it. Then place your chosen music in the audio track and there you go. Okay, so this question comes from Bata Paran Snoke. 
I hope I said that right, and if I didn't, I apologize. <laughs> can you please tell me how to? How can I cover an entire city or just a street with fog with a moving camera? Okay, Ooh, very creepy. All right, so I believe I know what kind of effect you're trying to find, and I think we can do it in Fillmore 10. Let me go ahead and show you how it's done. Here are three examples you can try. For a bird's eye view, search for the element intense fog and drop it on the top track above your footage. Depending on your footage, you may need to adjust the scale. In this example, no adjustment was needed. For a street shot that's zooming in, we can use the element smoke cloud 4. Just drop it onto the track above your footage and adjust the speed of the smoke to match the camera movement. Adjust the length of the element if you need it. For a shot that's tracking a subject's movement, we can use the element Smoke Flurry. Drop it onto the track above your footage, double click the element and go to the Transform settings. Adjust the scale of the element to around 180. This will give us some room to adjust the movement of the keyframe. Adjust the speed of the smoke to match the camera movement. Adjust the length of the element if you need it. Next, add a keyframe to the smoke by double-clicking the element and opening the animation window. Find Customize and add a keyframe. Then move the playhead forward and add another keyframe at the end of the clip. Adjust the position of the element and the smoke should move with the subject. And those are all the questions that we have for today. Thank you so much for all of you who submitted your questions. If you have any more questions for us, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below so that we can have them in future episodes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. We'd love to see you back. Keep creating and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.